Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron and today we are doing the fastest two-player strategy on the map der Isendrak. Now, this was before we've perfected a little bit. What we do instead is it's instead of standing on this side, we're on the other side of the same steps right above speed cola and you just need to make sure that one person is standing back where the door is do not open that door i repeat do not open that door this will become no strategy at all it'll be just a death trap but what i want to talk about today is really this map and how fast it is and how well it is for high rounds and the one thing that makes it not so good but first Let's talk about this strategy a little bit. What you want to use is the electric bow. You have to use the electric bow on this. And the next best thing to that, your your secondary player, he's using like the spirit bow thing right now, the void. Uh, but the wolf, in fact, is a lot better than what he's using right now. We're, we're still trying to experiment, see what bows are great. Haven't quite used the fire bow yet, so I don't know what it does. And that could equally be like a great second player bow, but it's really hard to upgrade and he just did not want to fool with it. But if you're running three or four player and you all have bows, this will be extremely, extremely fast. So let's talk about this map, high round, low round, what I like about it, what I don't like about it now that I've gotten to play it just a little bit more. So first of all, this is an excellent high round map. You get the wonder weapon relatively easy. The upgrades again are relatively easy. You can do everything pretty much before round 12, which is great. And you can go ahead and start like this type of strategy and you'll be at 33 or further in no time. And I would say this strategy would last pretty much the entire game. The only thing that you want to watch out for is in fact the Panzers. And that's what killed us this game and what's killed us every single time that we've played. And right here we're making a transition over and that's mainly because of where the dogs spawn and this side's a little bit more roomier if something does happen. We can we can have a little bit more control of what happens in the game and how far we can go back. And especially weighing on the wolf bow to just knock everything out. So you do want to have a shield. We did not have a shield this game. You can build the shield in the bottom of the church. Great location for it. And back again. Sorry, just jumping between topics this video. But back again to the high round. I do think that we can definitely hit around 100 if we can get the Panzers down. Now, I do realize that there will be an update that nerfs the Panzers. They will not be as strong. PS4 got it. And for some odd reason, Xbox does not have it at this time. And there's also some other things like the gravity spikes are really good. Except on Xbox One, it lags you out. And I think it did the same thing on the PlayStation. And then they fixed it. So we're waiting on a ton of updates to make this map even better better and I think then we'll be going for triple digits I've already talked to Tyler Chad seems like he likes it too we might be going in and possibly doing a three player but definitely a two player and it's just really fun I really have a great time uh gumballs for this map I would say is alchemical something the thing you get money for bullets and it activates twice for a minute each that's really good especially in a place like this you want to make sure you have a ton of cash backs also um you kind of want to get perkaholic early on i think in one of our games i got perkaholic on round two or something like that and it, it lasted me for like five rounds and i made a big mistake like i got trapped and i didn't do anything about it and i lost it you know big deal you can get it, you can keep it, and the next thing I would have to say, something that was not featured in this video, is what to do whenever a Panshrek comes. So for right now, up until around 45, that's our highest, we are bringing them all the way back up to the death ray, stunning them and trying to kill them with the bows and upgraded um, shoe shining, or upgraded haymaker and right now it works but on 45 they're so strong we actually had to run them through the death rate twice and that's not a good thing we need something that's more solid that we can kill them extremely quickly and just get done with that round and then back up to the strategy this little camping spot and go in now if you're more the type that gets bored doing something like this there are some alternatives Two of them, in fact. One's a little bit more tricky than the other. The first one is right outside of this place in the snow. You split the place in half. One person runs on the side closest to the church, and the other person runs on the other side closest to like the, uh, the walk up and the stairs and stuff like that. Now, the person that's running right here, like I just did, will want to turn on the trap, 
and then the other place is in the death ray. You split the place in half again. One person runs on one side, one person runs on the other. Whenever the death ray turns on or comes back to be able to turn on, you turn it on and it kills the zombies with you. So this game's going to end pretty much because the panzers are crazy. I don't even understand why they would do this. They made them extremely hard. I would much rather have Marguas where I had to be a marksman to shoot their heads off than this right here. This is crazy. I don't like it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little strategy. I went on a limb here. I stuttered. I should not have stuttered and I would have probably made it. There we go with the fire. Hope you guys enjoyed this. My name's Aaron and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary.